One day, uh, toward the end of 1954, he called me out to the farm. I remember this so clearly. He took me for a walk down the river, and he said, you know, Newt, he said, uh, if I were your father, I would tell you not to do what I'm going to ask you to do. But because I'm not your father, I'm going to ask you anyway. He said, I'm starting a new law firm, and Bill Blair, Bill Wirtz, and I, we'd like you to be the fourth. We'd like you to, you know, I know you're doing very well where you are, but if you have a sense of adventure, uh, this is an opportunity. I talked it over with Joe and decided to do it. And knowing that uh, Adley might run again for president, but I decided to do it, and then surely in 1955, I went with Adley, and uh, President Eisenhower just had a bad heart attack, and we went, Adley was giving a speech at the University of Texas in Austin, and then we went and spent the night at the home of Senator Lyndon Johnson, who was then the majority leader of the Senate. He was recovering from his own heart attack. Sam Rayburn was there, and we got back in the plane on the way home. Adley said to me, Lyndon and Sam say that if I want to run for president in 56, I'll have to run in the primaries. What do you think? I said, they're right. I said, before, if, if President Eisenhower looked like he was going to run, nobody wanted the nomination. It was hopeless. But if President Eisenhower doesn't run again, everybody will want it. You'll have to compete for it. He said, I'm not going to do it. He said, I'm not going to run like sheriff and shaking hands at the shopping center. Of course, he ended up doing exactly that, running around a shopping center shaking hands. And he did run and was nominated in 56. What happened to us in the 56 campaign, which really prompted my deep interest in the FCC, at the close of the 1956 presidential campaign, President Eisenhower went on the, all the networks, speak to the American people about the Suez invasion. Perfectly proper thing for the president to do, but it was in the midst of a campaign. It was right near the end of the campaign. We asked all the networks for equal time or for a an opportunity to answer, they all said no. We then appealed to the FCC and said, this isn't right, this isn't fair. The FCC couldn't decide the question, was badly split, didn't reach a decision. The uh, networks then gave us the time, and Adley spoke, but it showed me the importance, the importance of the equal time provision in a campaign it showed me the importance of the opportunity to speak uh, to the nation. I was invited to a conference at Princeton where I met my first FCC commissioner to deal with these issues. And th th so my interest really was heightened by the 56 experience. 